Hello everyone. For this week, we'll be solving question on equation. And on the on equation, we'll be using what we call quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. And uh, we need to understand that uh, you know, quadratic formula is a formula that provides the solution to quadratic equation. So, and there are other ways in which we can solve, there are other ways in which we can solve our equations. We have the quadratic formula, we have completing the square, we have factoring, either direct factoring, or grouping, or AC method, or also, we also have um, graphical method that we can also use in solving our equation. But for this section, we'll be using quadratic formula to solve that. Just please take, I'm gonna try to, you know, take it slowly so I can understand everything about this formula. Now, I'll be solving two questions. Then what is the formula? The formula is negative V plus minus root B square minus 4AC all over 2A. Now let's have question 1. So I will explain that. So from question 1 is what? It says X square Negative 4x, negative 5 equals 0. Now, you need to understand, from this question, you need to, you know, be able to identify from this formula. There's a way we can be able to derive this, but we don't really need, you know, to go that so, you know. The major thing is, well, they've given us this formula, understand how to use the formula, and then all you need to do is to solve it. You know, um, if you need to want us to go in depth, then just you know schedule for our classes, and then I will explain bit by bit on how we can we how this formula is being derived, and then from there, you know you can have more understanding about that. So, so for this, you need to know that what on this aspect, what is your a? Your a is the coefficient of what of x squared, and what is the coefficient of x squared here? Is what is one? What is your B? Your B is what? So this should be plus. So your B is what? B is the coefficient of what? Of X. And what is your C? Your C is what? Constant. Which is what? C is equals what? Negative five. So all you have to do is just what? Substitute what you have here into the formula. And then we we'll get it solved. So how do we go about that? So negative b. What is our b? Four. So just substitute. We have what? Already from the formula, we have what? Negative from the words for for b. So just put that in. So we have what? Negative four plus minus. When you have something like this, plus minus means your answer can either be negative or can also be what? Positive. So remember that all we are looking for is what is what the x. So negative this plus this into the root of what? Remember that what? 4, 4 square, negative, what do we have here? What is 4? Is already on the formula. Times our what? 1. Then also times, times negative 5. Remember that what? Our C is negative 5. All true what? 2 times 1. Okay, let's go. So when we do this, we're going to have what? Negative 4 plus minus into the square root of what this will give us what 16 negative 4 times 1 will give us negative 4 negative 4 times negative 5 negative times negative will give us positive and then 4 times 5 is going to give us what 20 very good okay so we'll go ahead what is the next thing for us to do now oh sorry then 2 times what times 1 will give us 2 now, if you try to work this one out, this will give us what? 
negative 4 plus minus to the square root 60 plus this will give us what 36 all of our words all of our two okay so we can have what that means what x is equals to what negative 4 plus plus minus the square root of 36 sorry what is the square root of 36 is what is 6 all over 2 now let's go ahead and go split what we have so you have what x can either be what negative 4 x can either be what negative 4 plus 6 divided by 2 or negative 4 negative 6 all over 2 if you try to do this what are you going to have this will give us what negative 4 plus 6 that will give us what 2 all over 2 and that is what equals to what 1 or negative 4 negative 6 that will give us what negative 10 all over 2 if you do this that will give us what negative 5 so that means x can either be what 1 or negative 5 if you substitute that back into this equation it will definitely give us what zero so let's check real quick using one if you put one there you have what one square plus four times one will give us four minus five equals zero this will give us one plus four minus five equals zero if you do this automatically will give us what zero so that is that for what for the first question okay let's run through let's run through through the second question remember that please ensure we're going to drop our what our youtube channel yeah please follow us subscribe please and then we're posting a lot of videos where you can also learn from very important okay now let's go to the next question real quick which is two x squared minus five x plus three equals zero remember make sure what try to what um get your variables in so for for a a will be what coefficient of a squared two b will be what negative what five and then c is what is the constant which is three now let's just you know substitute them back into the formula so b is what remember b is already having formula in the control how are you gonna do that you say what well, minus minus five plus minus into the square root of what negative five or square minus minus 4 times 2 times where's the c c is what 3 divided by what 2 times 2 okay let's go so negative times negative will give us what positive so you have what you have 5 you have 5 plus minus Remember, all square, negative all square will give us what positive. So you're going to have what? It's all square, what? 25. Minus times, minus 4 times 2. That will give us what? Negative 8. And then, negative 8 times 3 will give us what? Negative 24. Divided by what? 4. Now, let's go. So what do you have from here? So that means, x is equal to what? 5 plus minus into this will give us what 1 all over what 4 remember the square root of 1 is also what 1 so that means we say what x can either be what 5 plus 1 all over 4 or 5 minus 1 all over 4 so if you do this this will give us what 6 all over 4 or 4 all over 4 so if you cancel 2 can go here we have what 3 all over 2 
you have three all over two or one so that means x is equal to what three all over two or one that is the answer so that is the questions about quadratic most of your equation quadratic will always definitely be able to solve them at least we'll be able to get one answer but all that um formula all that method you know cannot solve all the questions yes i've tried that many times cannot solve all the questions so well very importantly don't forget to follow us on our social media and do a lot of questions the most important thing drop your questions drop as many questions you want us to help you solve we'll come back here solve them for you and also schedule for our classes you know for all our, our classes depending on the days you want we have a lot of um available tutors that's going to take you through and help you you know to give you best understanding on all those topics remember sat are coming there's june july august um, and, um exams you know now is when you need to prepare for all those exams don't wait on the die minutes and then the higher the score you have the best of you know scholarship you're going to have you know bankier the foundation can help you you know to have the higher score you desire thank you bye I wanna treat you that way, no I've been running, can't care